before the dark powers of destruction unleashed by science engulf all humanity. First, what's the difference between strategic and tactical? In a broad sense, a strategy is a plan that helps you to achieve your goals, while tactics are the individual actions you have to take. Therefore, strategic weapons are big, scary nuclear bombs and missiles whose purpose is to deter our enemies from attacking us. This rationale has been called MAD, Mutually Assured Destruction. Meanwhile, tactical nuclear weapons are smaller yield devices that can be used on the battlefield in a more precise manner. The United States, Russia, China, France, and India deploy their strategic nuclear forces in a triad, meaning that each country has nuclear weapon platforms on the land, in the sea, and in the air. The triad makes it unlikely that an enemy could destroy all of a nation's nuclear assets in a single first strike. Currently, the United States military has 1,644 strategic nuclear weapons deployed. 405 of those are Minutemen intercontinental ballistic missiles housed in silos at United States Air Force bases in Montana, North Dakota, and Wyoming. The Air Force also has 36 B-52 bombers and 13 B-2 stealth bombers that can transport large strategic nuclear bombs and cruise missiles. The United States Navy maintains 14 Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines that serve as an undetectable launch platform for intercontinental missiles. Each of those submarines carries 24 Trident D-5 missiles, containing on average four independently targeted warheads each. We dare not tempt them with weakness, for only when our arms are sufficient beyond doubt can we be certain beyond doubt that they will never be employed? Meanwhile, the United States has only 230 tactical nuclear warheads, and 100 of those are deployed at NATO bases in Europe. America's tactical warheads are found inside unguided gravity bombs, cruise missiles, artillery shells, landmines, depth charges, and torpedoes. Innovation is one of the hallmarks of our service. It's in our DNA. From propellers to jets to rockets, electronic jamming, communication satellites, precision guided munitions. The list goes on and on because the future of U.S. national security depends on our ability to rapidly innovate and to be at the cutting edge of science. Let both sides join in creating a new endeavor. Not a new balance of power, but a new world of law where the strong are just and the weak secure and the peace preserved. <laughs> 